welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a exciting collaboration with my friend Nadia. I have collabed with her once before on my channel. We did two eye looks with our Cleonade palettes. I believe we used the Arkeo palette. Gosh, I'm already blinking which means it's been too long. So without further blabbering, I'm gonna go ahead and let Nadia introduce herself to you guys really quick. Hello everyone, my name is Nadia and I'm super happy to be collabing again with Karen today on another palette and this time around we decided to go very colorful because we chose this one, which is the Bright Lights by Pinky Rose Cosmetics and this is the look I came up with and I used almost every shade out of this palette and it was super fun to play around with. If you come over to my channel, what you'll find is basically a lot of makeup content. I do get ready with me, some first impressions, some reviews, and a lot of tag videos as well because I love tag videos. I also do some nail art videos sometimes because I love painting my nails as much as I like to paint my face. So I hope to stop by and check out some of my videos. Thank you so much Karen for having me, it's always so much fun to collab with you and I can't wait to see the look you created. Thank you, Nadia, for that introduction. She is such a sweetheart. I would totally recommend checking out her channel. She is from Switzerland and I love her content. She's also obsessed with everything makeup related. And yeah, so we decided to use our bright lights palettes that we both picked up from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. And we had both talked about how we had not used this palette. so. She did say we should use this to create a eye look and I don't want to talk too much. Let's get into this eye look. Hey guys, so I forgot to turn my mic on when I was filming my tutorial. I'm still getting used to filming with my Rode mic, so I do apologize. I'm going to attempt to voice over the tutorial so you guys know how I created this look. So I started off with priming my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I've really been enjoying the primer portion. I tried it back in the day and I didn't think it was that great. But I've really been enjoying it recently. So I'm excited to have that. We are using the Bright Lights palette from Pinky Rose. And I have a bright neon shirt on. Or this shirt has a stripe on it. So I want to do something vibrant with this palette obviously. So just trying to decide what shade to use first. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Brulee here. So the next step was for me to grab a Wayne Goss number 17 brush and blend the shade Lit into my crease. This is a neon yellow looking shade, but this is kind of where the look went south for me. This shade did not blend very well. I felt like it went on patchy and it separated and I've never really seen a shadow do that on my eyelids. So I was having a very hard time getting this to be true to color. I think I realized that I should have probably used a white base when playing with this palette. I never usually use a white base to make shadows vibrant, but I was really struggling here. So as you can see, I'm using a Sonia G Blender Pro and applying the shade Dreamsicle on the outer two thirds of my eye space. And as you can see, the pigmentation is just kind of a rough time. I keep going back in to add more yellow and keep trying to make the Dreamsicle shade more vibrant as in the pan. It just is a beautiful coral shade and I feel like it's lost on my eyes. I don't hate the way my eyeshadow looks here, but it's just not what I expected. I just wanted a really vibrant look and I just keep struggling to get some pigmentation from these shades. Okay guys, so here is where I really just hit the last nail in the coffin with this eye look. I decided to go in with the Press Pigment Cupcake and it felt very emollient so I didn't feel like I needed to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue, which I usually do with even like really metallic shadows. I just went in and started pressing this on with my finger and I was just having a tough time again so I went in with one of those disposable wands. But basically the glitter, I like to have like an even amount of glitter all over my lid 
and it wasn't cooperating and it was falling all over my face and it was just not working out for me today. So I just kind of went with it and wiped off the fallout and I will show you guys the finished look right here. Okay guys, so this is the final look and as you can tell from the footage, I had a heck of a time trying to put this eye look together. It is hanging on by a thread because I zoomed you guys out. So I feel like it looks a little bit more together. I'm a little bit embarrassed to leave my house like this because usually I try to do better with my eyeshadow looks. But you know what? Sometimes things don't always go as planned with your makeup. I think this palette would probably perform a lot better if I had used a white eyeshadow base, but I was honestly expecting really good pigmentation from this, so I didn't think I would need to do that. So because of that, it didn't turn out as good as I expected, and also I started putting the pressed glitter on before putting down the Too Faced glitter glue, which I feel like was a mistake. So I learned some things about this palette. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and try and make some more looks with this guy. I also picked up their new um, palettes, the Pinky Rose palettes. I did do a swatch party video, but I'm yet to like review them and go into them because I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, about the formula. I have eyeshadow palettes that I really enjoy the matte formula and some palettes really do scare me. For example, the Ace Beauty Paradise Collection, once I bought it and I felt the formula, I kind of stayed away from it. I'm still to review those palettes too because I know what formula I like and that's not really it. Anyway, I hope you guys aren't too disappointed in me. Nadia, thank you so much for collabing with me and we will see you guys in our next collab soon. Bye!